Hi Leo, welcome into your weekly reading. I hope all is amazing in your Leo world. Um, I do want to begin by saying I truly apologize for all the background noise as they are aggressively building a house nearby. But um, for whatever reason, I'm feeling intuitively guided to jump in and get this reading done for you. Um, and that might play into your reading somehow. Um, feeling like something is a working progress, a building progress, and you're seeing that evidently coming through in your week, okay? Um, being reminded that you're also a work in progress, improving your life, the way you live, right, your habits, um, and how you talk to yourself or how you interact with other people. It feels like you're changing on a core level. Um, but to begin for the week for Leo. Okay, the King of Wands, beautiful, strong energy, and I feel like you're overly serious at certain points, but it doesn't mean you're not happy. It doesn't mean that you're not enjoying the week and all that it entails. It feels like you're trying to figure things out. You're being very methodical and strategic and wanting things to pan out for you so well, um, so badly that you just end up in such a serious mode and way of being um, and energy all the meanwhile. What it feels like, there are moments where your surroundings might be affecting you. Like for me right now, I know the background noise due to the house being built is absolutely affecting me, but I'm pushing past it and uh, getting the reading done, but it doesn't mean it's still not affecting me all the meanwhile. I feel like you're being uh, seen as somebody and being reminded uh, that the courage within you is absolutely beautiful, all right? To begin again for some, to make the best and to cope with and overcome and I feel like you are very much succeeding throughout this week. And it's just a hint of the success that lies ahead, all right? Um, and I feel like you are thinking about the future in such a realistic way that you're manifesting exactly what you're meant for um, and not the wrong choices for yourself. But it feels like um, you're thinking about a situation coming to an end in the near future and how this is going to um, better your situation, but also how to best efficiently make the best out of what's at hand until that point. Does that make sense? But it feels like there's certain levels of comfort in the midst of this week and surrounding it that you didn't have in a situation in the past, right? Whether it was something similar that you left behind right before that situation, this current situation, excuse me, or maybe something similar rewinding further back. But the Six of Cups talks about memories popping up left and right, certain areas, items, occurrences, even noises, um, and then there, once again, uh, levels of comfort, um, reminding you of the past for the better and for the worse. But it feels like spirit saying you can't be thinking back in um, an unrealistic way, recognizing and remembering every little thing up until this point has happened for a reason, and more so moving forward. Um, I feel like you're thinking about how you've grown and changed as a more mature soul at this point um, and how that's better affecting your life choices, how it's affecting when you strategically hold back and uh, take action um, and how this is going to even more so benefit you moving forward because it feels like what you're about to jump into in the near future is going to entail a lot of maturity, um, which you truly have at this point. but. An older version or two of you wouldn't have been able to best cope with and deal with that situation. Um, but again, everything happens for a reason. What else do we have for Leo? The Queen of Cups. What's out of your control throughout the week, my friend, is not going to feel productive to even begin to assess or control, right? It's like uh, out of sight, out of mind, or just, you know, you cope with, you deal with, and you just move right along because it feels like you could be having a lot to deal with. Uh, a lot to cope with, but a lot to get done all the meanwhile. I'm hearing getting down to business. And I feel like a solid routine is being developed or tweaked in the midst of this week. And that's helping you make sure things get done properly. It's helping you feel good about, um, say, the rest of your day or the rest of that week or moving forward. Um, checking things off your to-do list all the meanwhile. But it feels like you're also being reminded that you are an emotional soul and things do affect you. And so therefore, what do we need to heal from? Um, how do we best prepare for what's going to cause more healing to, to be needed moving forward? Because life's not perfect, but it feels like the stars are aligning for you. All right, I was being drawn to these two stars here, but it feels like things are step by step, day by day, piece by piece, uh, moment by moment 
aligning for you, coming together, and it feels quite gratifying, all right? There's a lot of gratitude and fulfillment throughout the week in the midst of what feels like a very imperfect week, but a lot better than what you had once upon a time, all right? I also feel like you're being reminded when something looks ideal, uh, beneficial on paper, right? Say, for example, it's a living situation, and to those uh, connected to you uh, in your life, um, and even to you at a certain point, it may have seemed or does seem like it was or uh, could have been uh, ideal, perfect. And maybe it once was, but things change. And maybe it wasn't what it was expected to be all the meanwhile um, or, you know, could be moving forward. And so Spirit's saying you have to just go with the flow and trust your intuition and let Spirit guide you towards better, bigger, and recognize that change or remember that change is a beautiful thing, all right? I'm also feeling like it's a week where your voice is of true importance, all right? Um, there will be little moments of um, spiritual, I'm hearing glitches, spiritual messing with, right? Occurrences, but I feel like it's nothing that you haven't dealt with before, or it's nothing that you aren't built to overcome, cope with uh, moving forward. Um, I also feel like your choices do come with certain consequences that are, uh, to be expected, but not to be overthought, right? Um, but with the King of Cups, I feel like, again, we're speaking upon emotional maturity first and foremost, but your maturity overall. And you're closer to seeing a result come to be a door opening for a lot drawn to the reading than you actually think at certain points or in general, as I'm being drawn to the ship in the background. But your peaceful nature is quite inspiring. It's desirable and it's helping you get what you need at this time but it's also helping you not uh, stress, right? It feels like certain people from your past who maybe were uh, described at or uh, felt at least uh, from your standpoint is quite stressful, did teach you a lot about how to minimize or cut out that stress altogether when it comes to decision-making, uh, action-oriented tasks and whatnot, and just the future in general, um, and what you've left behind in the past even. But naturally with the king and the queen, if I didn't say it already, it's a very balanced week within you, right? It may not feel as balanced outside of you, your external reality, but it feels like all the meanwhile, you're very much standing strong in what you've decided, what where you're at, where you have to go moving forward or what you need to figure out um, and uh, uh, obtain all the meanwhile. But it feels like there's just a let it go, let it flow vibe about the week. And at certain points, you may need to remember this, maybe get that reminder, but it feels like you know what you're doing. And I feel like for whatever reason, you're expecting things to pan out in your favor. Correct. Okay. Absolutely correct. The past is the past and it absolutely prepared you for what's at hand. Um, it reminds me of me moving to California, you know, years ago and only stayed for a certain period of time. And then I left. And, you know, I couldn't figure out why that had to happen. But now I came back and I moved back here and things just feel different, all right? What I went through in Massachusetts again and then Florida, it all prepared me for this chapter, all right, and moving forward. So remembering that every chapter of your life um, has its relevance, its purpose. Um, as I do get a bit affected by the background noise and energy, the Ten of Cups talking about how this week talks about, um, this week symbolizes the fact that you deserve a happily ever after situation. Is this more so for you going to end up being uh, that perfect connection, that perfect family situation, a perfect housing situation? Maybe speaking upon your career. It could be more than one thing, but it feels very specific to one area, one category of your life. And I feel like there's a uh, protection uh, from the spiritual realm from your intuition in regards to whatever this is for you and you're heading towards it step by step day by day and I wouldn't be surprised if you gain an opportunity that is finalized and moved towards a certain point moving forward um, because of your hard work and your chill vibes I want to say once again and your flow towards it in a very emotionally detached kind of way right um, even if there's a little bit of emotion here and there, it feels like you do, you're doing better or have been doing better than you were in the past. Um, but I feel like you need to uh, shift away from that five of cups energy if it feels like it's taking over, even if it's someone else's energy, all right? Um, and I'm hearing something is meant to come to an end. Um, and the seven of wands, because I feel like 
a lot's going to be coming towards you energy wise spirituality wise intuitive hits my friend but even in the midst of a lot of positive guidance and um, effects and changes in the midst and getting what you want you do need to protect your Leo energy because it feels like you're going to be feeling things and you're going to be affected by things quite strongly throughout the week and I feel like you have a lot going on and there's more going on around you than within even though there's a lot going on within anyways to wrap this up a very productive and um, shifting kind of week for you where your past is a reminder of how far you've come how purposeful things are and how much success lies ahead for you beautiful so if this is truly helpful sending you so much love and light go enjoy your week leo and i'll see you next time